you had a team with three all with four all stars, three other all stars. You're the ball handler, though. Um, how big a pressure is that on you to know that you have three all star teammates you need to share the ball with? Honestly, it's no pressure uh, because they make so many plays too. Our team is everybody on our floor. Our team is making plays like the Mark and the Paul and the Al start to break. It just makes my job a lot easier being with those times together. Wake Forest three representatives. Um, did Tim and Chris have any role in you going to Wake? Mm, maybe Chris a little bit. Tim did, but Chris, uh, I was a fan of his when I was in high school. And I knew if I went to Wake Forest, I probably had the opportunity to have the ball in my hand because he had it. Congrats on being here. Thank you. Um, first question. It's Friday the 13th, a day full of superstitions and beliefs. Is there anything that freaks Jeff T go? Uh, um, so when guys go to hunting houses, when I walk in first and I exit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't go to those things. I don't like it. Uh, that's the only thing that really scares me. Okay. Uh, Valentine's Day tomorrow. I'm not sure if you're away from your boo, uh, <laughs> but if you had to write her a letter, what would you write? I'll start it off for you. I love the way you cook. <laughs> Simple book. Jeff, cook. <laughs> last time you played your brother, what happened? One on one. Last time you came when was it? Uh, probably like seven years ago. What happened? I can't remember. <laughs> Who probably took it easy on him. He probably won though. I'll probably let him know. How often are you guys in contact? Can you give him some advice? Oh uh, yeah, we talk almost like every other day. Um, we talk all the time. We don't talk about basketball. We talk about life, how you doing, and stuff like this. How proud are you of being four? Probably other people ask you. How proud are you, four Hawks players? Oh man, it's a huge honor. We worked so hard this year. We got to be rewarded. It's big. What's your aim? What's your target this year? Uh, just get better every game. Um, I think every team, every player here wants to win a championship, so that's all, that's all I got. Anything to focus on in the second half? Nah, just being consistent on both ends of the floor. Do you think it's necessary to make any roster additions? Uh, whatever the guys are still want to do, um, we're all behind it. We're going to embrace it. They bring it in the player, we embrace it, but we love our group that we have here. Do you feel a sense of pride for being here or an accomplishment? Yeah, it's a huge accomplishment. I mean, it's an honor. All these great players that play in the NBA to be selected to be in the All-Star game. It's pretty cool. Come, Coach Budenholzer obviously coming from a winning tradition in San Antonio. What are the things that he's taught you guys as a team? Like, what have you learned new from him that you didn't know before? He just really brought a consistency about him, man. Just being consistent every day. Bringing that same effort every day in practice and on the floor. It's really how have you guys improved defensively so much this season to hit the losses? He challenged us to be better defensively. Uh, and being, uh, having Al Horford back, our anchor in the middle, man, he really changed our whole dynamic on the defensive end. And uh, that's why we're a better team. You guys have been talking about the talk of the first season. Do you think there could be any distraction that will hinder your performance in the second half? We really don't get distracted. We have so many fellow guys and everything. We just kind of stick to ourselves. We go about our business every day. Like, you know, it's time to get better. We don't really take much time. Do you think the team will take back Danny Murray? I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on, but uh, he comes back with his first An NBA season is 82 games, 41 on the road. What happens on the road? What do you do on the road? Sleep. <laughs> Go out to eat with your teammates, leave, play cards. Just, just enjoy one another. Do you have any restrictions? Does Budenholz to say you can't go there, you can't do this, you can't do that? No, nah, you don't have any restrictions, but uh, guys just have to be self-conscious of what they need to do to get prepared for the game. It looks like you have fun when you play on the court, not just you, but you as a group and as a team. Is that true? Yeah, it's a kid's game, so we enjoy it. Uh, I think guys on our team appreciate that they have opportunities to play in the NBA. So every time we go out, we try to enjoy it.